Hi, my name is RJ Winter with Marine Max of Baltimore. I'm going to take you aboard and show you our brand new 2017 L590 Fly from Sea Wreck. We brought teak in throughout the cockpit of this boat. We also have a high gloss teak table that folds in the cockpit, giving you easier access in and out of the seating. Um, as you can see, the Sea Wreck four panel doors all disappear under the steps, creating for a very open air space between the internal and external parts of the boat. As you come inside, you'll see a, no, a noticeably large TV to aft with storage under all these bulkhead compartments. Opposite the storage, you'll see a really C-shaped uh, settee here. The idea being that middle part allows people to actually sit on it. If it was just a straight L, no one could really utilize that middle part. Um, c -Ray was innovative enough to expand that, make it a 45 degree angle, create a large seating area that flows outside and in. So as you enter the galley dinette, you'll see you have a L-shaped dinette here with a folding dinette table. Allows you get in and out of the seating a little bit better. High gloss uh, on this table. We equipped the hardwood floors with a summer white wood, that's what Sea Ray has called it, with French Quarter walnut paneling on the stainless steel refrigerator, two refrigerators, two freezers, and then the upgraded style stone cabinetry um, on the uh, in the galley here. Here at the helm, we have two stid chairs, high quality, very, very thoroughly bolted into the floor. Sea Ray embroidery on the backrest here. You'll notice we opted for the upgraded two Gray Marine GS165 screens with two networked cameras. One backup camera, as you can see, displayed on this port unit. The starboard unit displays the engine room camera. Of course, the two units talk with the, the, all the chart information, the sonar information, and any other linked networking that you might want. Uh, your Raymarine vessel views or uh, vessel view system here gives you information on your three Cummins QSC 600 engines in the boat. They went with three because you can utilize Zeus technology, which gives you this joystick here for for dock and maneuverability at low speed and also high speed. It, it turns on a dime with these drives. There's there's no lag. Uh, because the thrust is actually directly being turned by the uh, drive. So here in the master stateroom, one thing you might notice might not come across on camera, but I'm six foot five. Very few staterooms under 65 feet can I stand up in, this obviously being an exception. Um, so on this boat, you have an angled master, you have three massive storage closets, all California closet style, uh, with pull-out drawers and, and shoe, uh, shoe drawers as well. You have a Samsung TV with Bose soundbar. Right in front, right behind that rather, you have your vanity with L-shaped settee here. And one thing to pay attention to is the, do you see this wood craftsmanship on the aft bulkhead just forward of the engine room? These are individual wood pieces laid in there. Um, just finishing touches from Sea Ray, they truly make it an L-class vessel. The VIP stateroom, you'll notice that what the texture for the uh, bulkhead in the master is also on the forward bulkhead here. So they really give equal attention to both staterooms. I have overhead storage in all of these panels here. Closet right behind me. And we also equipped it with the Samsung TV and Bose soundbar as well. So really, while a little bit smaller here, all the amenities that you would find in the master are just shrunk down for the VIP. Going to the VIP head, you'll see the standalone shower with toilet, sink, and then style stone uh, cabinets. You will see the starboard side safe room, which is equipped with two side-by-side -side berths, um, a filler cushion. We'll easily convert that to one uh, generous size berth for a couple or a larger child. To the forward part of the salon, you will see a stackable washer dryer. So no combo unit in this boat has a dedicated washer and a dedicated dryer. And then right behind the doors for the washer dryer, you'll see an extremely large closet uh, with drawers and, and a hanging rod for, for shirts and pants. Half part of the bridge, you'll notice there's a large U-shaped, um, you can call it a dinette, but it's also a sun pad because that high-low, uh, high-gloss table drops down and then cushions will fill in to create, you know, truly, truly some outdoor lounging areas.
As we move forward, you'll see we have a 40 inch TV. Forward of that is another dot knife dinette <clears throat> with another high low table that will convert into a full sun pad. And even further forward, you'll notice two chase lounges. Um, great visibility for people riding up there. That's really the spot to be on underway. Uh, as you come aft, you'll notice a complete replicate helm of what you saw down below. For example, the engine room camera, chart plotter, all the information I had at my fingertips down below, I also have up here. In addition to the joystick and the optional bow thruster we equipped the boat with. Uh, behind me is a, a wet bar uh, with sink and refrigerator. And you'll notice up here that the, the bridge is also air conditioned. Two separate units drive just this bridge. So it keeps it plenty cool and warm in the winter to extend your season by a couple months. That completes our walkthrough of the 2017 L590 Fly from Sea Ray that we have right here at our docks in Baltimore.